cards, Kim, Lady in Blue, welcome. Um, I've just done a three cards pulled spread for you. Um, so yeah, um, I was just thinking, what am I going to talk about? And I just thought, well, let spirit come through. And it's funny because as I was setting up, I grabbed my two beautiful new towers that I've just received or I ordered a while ago and they're pink amethyst and I thought okay it's talking about the feminine and everything and this is one of them it's yeah it is quite a big tower as you can tell that's my hand so and it's beautiful actually soft pink uh pink amethyst so that's one of them so I thought oh I've got to share that and this is another one that I've got. This is a bit darker. I just love the druzies inside down here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's giving me such a wonderful vibes off it. So if anyone's interested, get some pink amethyst. I'm not sure the properties, but and the sparkle you probably can't see. But yeah, so um, I thought, okay, it's talking about the feminine and everything. And it's funny because the cards that I pulled um, were quite irrelevant, or I think they are. So the first one I got is from the Spirit Junkie. Um, this is from Gabrielle Bernstein, and I've shared this before, but this is a, I love this deck, and I'm going to keep using it. So the first card I pulled is this one. It's lovely, the, the pink moon and the feminine flowers, so I thought that was great. And it says, all that I need is coming to me in ways I could never have imagined. Um, yeah, so uh, that is just really, really on point because um, me personally, I'm going through a th few things and I think it's uh, it's good stuff, good stuff happening. A lot of ascension, a lot of energy shifts, a lot of changes, a lot of big decisions around where I want to live, where I want to be going and also what sort of type of work I want. So I feel like I need to work on my feminine side a little bit more. <laughs> yes, I've had my hair done, done re-blue, but that's that's something that I, I like to have. And also get in touch with my feminine, my, my inner child, my inner Kim, uh, my child Kim, which is about having more fun, having uh, more time to do things that makes my soul happy. And um, bone crystals is one of my one of my big things that makes me happy. So things like this is, um, you know, I don't buy makeup or shoes or something like that. But hey, everyone's different. I buy crystals because I just resonate with them. And also they're pink, and I don't wear a lot of pink. So obviously, spirit saying, "Kim, you're a female. Get into it and start focusing on it." So yeah, that was interesting. And the second card I pulled, I actually found, speaking of females, I was tidying up my daughter's bedroom and she was doing most of the work. I was just supervising a <laughs> teenage girl. And I found her Oracle of Unicorn cards. So I thought, oh, great, I'm going to use those. Um, being a unicorn and mystical and everything and little girls even big girls love unicorns so i thought oh that's great i'll grab the unicorn deck and it's funny because this card literally jumped out and that's the card goddess so that's the card that jumped out and it says honor your divine feminine energy see your inner beauty let every part of you or love every part of you and probably let every part of you shine so I thought that was quite a poignant one too. And it's beautiful colours, pinks and purples and the white and everything. It's very feminine and everything. So I thought that was lovely. So obviously I was on track with those. So that was the um, Oracle of the Unicorns. And I used another deck that I haven't shared with you as such. And um, I shuffled them and... This was the first one that jumped out of the deck and it's Rise of the Nature Divas and I mean look at that card isn't it just stunning all the different colors and of course all the pinks and purples and light blues and greens and in the middle there's a there's a woman sitting here in the middle so um, I haven't used a lot of the uh, got used to these this deck yet so I'm going to read from the book 
and this one's Visions of the Soul, Meditation and Portal Cards by Kim Dreyer. So uh, it's, it's saying, Rise of the Divas, Nature, Rebirth, Connection, Reconnection, Life, Diversity, Independency. So obviously this is probably resonating so much for me at the moment, but I hope it resonates for you guys as well. I'm just going to read from the book. The vastly diverse expression of physical life on Mother Earth are nothing short of miraculous. Each of these expressions is their own unique and necessary role to play. It is time for you to fully acknowledge and behold all of the expressions and realise that you are merely a small part of the whole. Nature supports life. Nature is life. We and, uh, we and it are not separable. The part in the dance of life now is to hold space, honour, respect and support and flourish of new birth in the natural world. As you awaken, your consciousness and connectedness and resilience in the natural world, will, will, you will awaken, not only within yourself, but with the rest of the heart of Gaia. The true essences, divas of nature, who will rise and crow create a new earth with you. Through the reconnection of your heart with the heart of Mother Earth, relinquish all material trappings that are not supportive of sustainable, diverse life on Mother Earth. Create sacred spaces in your home and garden, in your town and country, to which the nature divas can be called to replenish what has been destroyed, damaged and disrespected. Educate yourself, then share this knowledge with others in order to awaken a global, global surge of reconnection that will foster a new sense of oneness, of togetherness, of unwhole unity with Mother Earth. So yeah, well, obviously I was supposed to connect with my feminine Mother Earth, Gaia. Um, actually, I might just pull a flower of life card as well because I have these. And I just, yeah, they just said, pick me, pick me. So I'm going to pick one of these. And I'm just going to randomly, I'm not even going to shuffle. I'm going to see what the first card is. Healing. Healing. And as feminine females, uh, whether you're a human or an animal or any energy, or spiritual energy, we all, um, we have the ability of healing. And being a mother myself, and like I'm very much like a mother here, and I always want to look after everybody. I always want to take care of people. I want to make sure they're okay. But it's also, I think for me also, I've got to remember that I've got to take time for myself and to heal as well. So obviously this is another card. That's why they jumped out. So I'm just going to read it for you. Feeling into you and realize that giving and receiving of love is all that is many amazing shades of magnificent is a key to healing. Every illness is a symbolic message from the part of the self to the to other another. Concerning your emotional responses to life, let yourself heal. Use your will, your intention and your wisdom to understand with compassion. The perceptions and experiences that you carry. Become intimate with the with you before trying to help another. Respect the right of another to carry the pain they choose in order to find the truth of the higher self. Pain is the way your higher self gets your attention. It is the way this amazing, wonderful universe that is you shows where you hold imbalance. It's going. It is doing all it can to bring you balance so you can fulfill your potential. All is perfect in this moment. So that's obviously, I hope that makes sense. I hope it resonated for you. And that's the flower of life, wisdom of Esther um, by Denise, Denise Javier. But they were, the cards will be on, um, on the page as well. So I hope those make sense. I hope you enjoyed those card pulls for today. Thank you for joining me and the, um, and I can't wait to share some more um, carpools on the next one. Take care and take care of yourself. Take care of your 
um, let your feminine self come out and that doesn't matter whether we're a male or a female we all have the dna female deep gene so you know so do take care of yourselves if you going wanting some crystals and you want to just tune in go get some beautiful pink amethyst um just yeah i'm just going to keep holding on to these and let that energy um, resonate for me they are just absolutely gorgeous and i'm just so blessed to be able to receive things like that so that's from me take care and i'll see you on the next one Aroha nui.